here at the Texas Native Nursery up close with a Mexican white oak or polymorphous, Quercus polymorphous. And the leaves are variable, as the name would imply. Yeah, quite a bit of variety, almost a holly-like leaf. And it looks like these sustained a little bit of winter damage. And the way they're grown for height in this windy condition, it's good to observe that the polymorphous grows pretty quickly. So prone to getting wind swept or blown over. The chinkapin oak did not appear to have winter damage. It appeared to be more structurally sound, upright. The live oak has very small leaves, so that, and a little finer twigging, but well, maybe it's slightly slower growing. Those are more expensive generally because of that, I believe. When the wind tends to pass through the smaller leaves, the larger leaves, these do appear more windswept. Oh, what a beautiful look at that. These are used prominently at Centennial Gardens in, in Houston. Some alley of these. Another very special oak, the burr oak. Very distinctive leaf. It becomes a large shade tree. Very tough, drought tolerant once established. Might even have a little fire tolerance. I'm not sure about that. More live oaks. Some of the developments in Houston that I see are almost a monoculture of live oaks, which a monoculture, of course, is not a good thing. So if their live oaks are in heavy production in nurseries. Ooh, the Mexican white oak. This is nice. Lots of new leaves. Look at that. Lots of the red leaves. Yeah, the temperatures are warming up. We've had a lot of rain here in Texas. Two, about two weeks in a row.